What is up YouTube and all my fish keeping friends? How is everybody doing out there in fish tank land? Today I want to share with you an update of my fish laboratory build. Don't go anywhere. I hope you guys are all doing good out there. I am still trying to pick out what plants I want to add to this new tank that I did here in my office. Uh, you guys see that I did this slate. If you haven't checked out the video, go ahead and check it out in the cards above. And I just put a lot of different pieces of slate in here. I stacked them uh, just to have a little fun with it. Uh, some people like it. I'm enjoying it. I just look forward to getting some plants in there. So let me know in the comments below what plants you would add to this 10 gallon aquarium. Let's go ahead and make our way down to the basement where the fish laboratory is. I want to show you guys all the updates to that. And I also want to share with you all what's going on under the stairs. Um, I'm trying not to bother anybody here in the fish room. A lot of the lights are off still today. And I'm talking quietly because there's so many, there's so many frying babies and there's other stuff to share on this rack. And uh, my members are getting a glimpse of it today. And if you're not a member, you can go ahead and uh, become a member and get some of the sneak peeks on things going on in the fish room. So we've been tiptoeing around the living room lately, the last couple of days. We're just being nice and quiet, trying to give these fish the time that they need. We don't want to stress out these females and have them eat the fry. It's, um, you know, it's one of those things with cichlids that can be very finicky in that respect. Uh, so let me go ahead and just sneak around this room. I'll go ahead and make our way down to the basement. Okay, I'm making my way down into the fish lab. I know most of you have seen this net set up. I definitely want to get uh, Amber to do a video with me and share with me how she set up this, where she found all the materials and stuff for this. Uh, you know, we keep these nets here. So you come down here, you come into the room, uh, and once we have the grow out room dump over here to the right, uh, you know, we treat our nets kind of like uh, spoons, like tasting spoons in a kitchen, in a commercial kitchen. You use that spoon once and it goes, gets clean. So that's basically how it goes. You grab a new net every time it goes into a sanitation bucket or it goes to a cleaning room to get cleaned and then dried properly, clean, dried properly. You know, it makes its way back to this rack. So as I make my way into the lab space, you'll see that some stuff has changed, but not too much. I have a new shelving unit. Uh, we need to get some more of those plastic clips. They were lost so I can add another shelf to the top as well. So we're keeping a lot of our dry goods, sterile, dry, uh, products, disposable products and things like that on this shelf. Um, you'll see that the lab space is pretty well together here. We have the laminar flow hood. I still need to purchase a fan and a UV light as well as the proper HEPA filters that go get mounted up in the top here and blow pure clean air down into this airspace. So I'm still finishing up with the laminar flow hood. Um, I did finally get my magnetic stir in the mail, which I'm really happy about, which will help with just mixing medicines and even just mixing salts and things like that. Primarily this space will be used uh, for working with the fish that we are growing out and new fish coming in, fish going out. Uh, for the most part, this space will be used for my microscope. I look forward to adding another little tray that rolls out here and that microscope will be able to sit on that as well. So you'll be able to uh, work with, you know, different samples. You'll be able to do slime coat tests and fecal samples and things like that on the fish when they come into the house and when they, before they leave. Uh, so a lot of stuff like that will take place here. These cabinets contain mostly medications and foods things like that. One of Amber and I's really important goals here in this house is to maintain very good biosecurity uh, with the fish that we're keeping. So this lab space is going to help out greatly in regards to just making sure we know what's going on in the aquariums, what's going on inside the fish, outside of the fish, and you know what's coming into our house and what we are sending to our customers. But to be completely honest, we're getting really close to the end of the build out of the lab. I do still have a lot of uh, construction equipment, the paints and tools and things like that are still out. But we definitely look forward to tightening up this room and getting it completely finished. I want to move into the utility room, which is behind me. That is our shipping department. It will also be where we keep um, our shrimp and the live bears, as far as I know, if I'm correct. This is a really important space. This is really the center of everything. Okay, there's one more thing that I want to share with you guys today that's down here in this room that I have been neglecting to share with you, and that's what's right behind me in this closet under the stairs. Uh, there's been something I've been working on in this closet under the stairs and it's about time that I give you guys an update and let you know what's really going on here. Let me see if I can get past this cute little old latch. It's all sticky today. 
There it is. A white room. That's what's under the stairs. Oh my. This room will be the live food room. This is where we're going to be growing out and keeping all of our live foods. Uh, you'll see we're just kind of we're messing around getting an idea what's going on in here. Uh, we'll be able to keep, you know, uh, live baby brine shrimp. Uh, we'll be able to have like microworms, grindle worms and whatnot. We'll probably keep like microworms, grindle worms, banana worms and stuff like that up here as well as uh, cultures of uh, you know, flightless fruit flies, and we'll do some tanks with Daphne and Scuds. Just experiment with some different kinds of live foods in this space. Now, there is no light in here yet. There is no power at all in this space yet, but I can't really show you. There's a shelf here. There's another shelf down here, and it goes way back. But back there in the corner is an outlet, a wall outlet for the other room, for the grow out room. And I'm going to tie into that line and add another outlet in this space underneath of the stairs. And that will power the air pumps, the lights, any heaters, anything like that that we would need in here. But I think the lights themselves will create the heat that we need. Anyways, I just wanna give you a little peek on this. I'm gonna be doing some videos just on the live food room here underneath the stairs. I'm gonna share with you uh, the build out, of, you know, adding power, getting this all wired up. I will share that with you in other content. But I just wanted to give you a little sneak peek of what's actually underneath the stairs. Uh, and just the last little bit of what's going on here in the fish lab. So we still need to finish that up. And I want to add this other tray under here. We'll see how that goes. Uh, besides that, this lab is pretty much ready to go. And like I said before, this room is very fundamental to everything that we're doing here in this house. This is going to maintain all of the biosecurity for all of the livestock that we're keeping here in this house. Thank you so much to all of you that like, comment, and share all of my content. It means so very much to me. And remember guys, keep your tanks clean, your fish fed, and have fun.